Let's go politics. I'm an Obama dude, if you can believe it. Um, I like Barack. I, I got to meet him. That's part of the reason I like him. I met him last year at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Uh, my buddy Seth Meyers hosted it, and we, I wrote a bunch of jokes with him, and, uh, and we got, I got to go. And the day before, I uh, got like a tour of the White House. We go through the White House, then we go to the Oval Office. In the Oval Office, across from the, uh, the Clinton blowjob desk, it's like, <laughs> literally like the first thing you think. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, you wanna touch it? I'm like, no, thank you. Um, <laughs> there's a, there was a coffee table. On the coffee table, there's a bowl of apples. Seth's mom is on the tour as well, and she goes, hey, are those apples real? And the woman giving us a tour was like, yeah, would one of you like one? I'm like, yeah, I'm a fucking taxpayer. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I'm eating an apple in the White House in the Oval Office. On the wall, Obama has the original copy of the Emancipation Proclamation. Well, yeah, which I'm pretty sure is just there in case the Tea Party's like, we don't think you're free. All right, look at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they have left. This is literally all they have left. So then the next day, we go to the Correspondence Dinner itself, and, uh, and beforehand, there's like a little reception, like a small room, um, like 100 people probably. Uh, we're all in tuxedos. At a certain point, they let the President First Lady in, and put him be they put them behind red velvet ropes. We're supposed to go up, introduce ourselves, say who we are, get our picture taken. All right, so I'd heard... Michelle was a Chappelle Show fan. So I was like, all right, you know what? Let me exploit that shit for once. Kidding, I, I exploit it every day. <laughs> um, so it's my turn, and uh, President Obama's here, First Lady Obama's there, and, uh, and I walk in with the President, I go, hey, man, which I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to call him. Uh, but it was better than like, hey, man. Um, who's your, is this your girl? What up, ma? Um, so, uh, so, it's, so I go up and I go, uh, I go, hey man, my name's Neil Brennan and I created Chappelle Show with Dave Chappelle. And he goes, oh man, we love that show. In fact, that's got to be considered one of the greatest shows of all time. What you gonna say? <laughs> I gotta say, felt pretty good. Like if he'd wanted a hand job, I would have given it to him. <laughs> so he goes, Michelle, this guy created Chappelle Show with Dave Chappelle. So Michelle comes over and goes, we were so upset when it went off the air. And I go, how do you think I felt? <laughs> so, uh, so now we're getting our picture taken. And uh, that day, Obama had gone to um, Alabama to look at tornado damage. Then he went to Cape Canaveral for some NASA stuff. Then he goes to Miami gives a commencement address at a college, then he's gonna come back to DC, take pictures with weirdos for an hour, <laughs> then he's gotta do stand-up, big day. Kills Bin Laden the next day. Did more in 36 hours than George Bush did in his whole life. All right, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, so, so now we're getting our picture taken. This is how smooth Obama is. We're getting our picture taken, and I say to him, I go, uh, I go, God, man, this is also weird. I go, do you ever get used to this? And he goes, nope. And then I swear to God, he goes, but you know, I can't just up and retire like Dave Chappelle did. <laughs> and I was like, motherfucker, what did you say? <laughs> and he's like, you heard me, Chicago, bitch. 